Welcome back. And we're back with yeah. Tuesday Night Smackdown. Oh, yeah. And it's a good night because Kofi did not get screwed. Yeah. He did. So here we go. Let me let me start it off. Yeah, go ahead. You can start it off. Yes. Open. My time is shy. All right. The New Day come, uh, st starts out. They were saying they've been having fun for about five years. That's almost ba that's basically the same amount of time as we've been dating, Bubby. Five yeah. years. May will be five years for us. Yeah. And they're saying that they're gonna they're gonna call it quits. And then Vince McMahon shows up and he's like, "No, you guys are not gonna quit." And then Daniel Bryan's going, "No, Vince, no, they should quit." And then Vince is like, "Shut up. This is what's gonna happen." Kofi, Big E, Xavier Woods, you're all B-list superstars. Especially Kofi. Because Vince McMahon says so. But, he said this. He already gave Kofi enough chances. Now it's Big E and Xavier Woods' turn. If they survive their gauntlet match, their tag team gauntlet match, Kofi gets his, uh, gets his shot at WrestleMania. Yep. For the title. So that was... Oh, so. Well, that's pretty intense, especially what ends up happening later. Yep. And then, of course, first match of the night was um, a championship woman title match. Charlotte versus Asuka. It was pretty much like a WrestleMania rematch. Yeah. Yeah, and just like WrestleMania, Asuka wasn't ready and lost. So now for the main event, WrestleMania, it will be a champion versus champion versus man match. Yeah, because Charlotte's the champion now. Yeah. But they were going pretty at it, pretty good. Yep. Yeah, she like to the point where, you, where we caught on that Charlotte had bloody knuckles. Was it yeah. Charlotte that had bloody knuckles, or was it Asuka? Charlotte. She had, like, like right here, it was, like, all bloody in her hand. Yeah. She, but she made her tough to the figure eight. Now, here's what's going to happen next. We got AJ Styles versus Kurt Angle. But here's the thing. AJ Styles uh, comes out of the, uh, comes out, and then it, cu uh, it cuts to Ga uh, Chad Gable coming out to uh, Chad Gable coming out, and then Bobby Roode comes out and he's like, he's totally out. He's falling flat on his butt. <laughs> he does the glorious thing and slaps G uh, Gable in the face, and it's a Snickers commercial. Oh oh, no, boy. you tell me. We told it. We said this about. We saw. We said this. About on our raw recap, that actually could fool a lot of people, and I think it is because the way how they shoot it, it feels like it's actually on wrestling. Well, you know. You tell me that uh, when you saw that, you were like, "What? You weren't? Th you were thinking what? Is this for real? Is this?" I thought the one raw, but then when I see it on SmackDown, I was like, "Oh, it's this one again." Yeah, but Missy missed it, and the uh, only thing she was focused on is Snickers bar. Oh, <laughs> we saw you. You were like, I'm, uh, I'm hankering for a Snickers. So, anyways, AJ Styles versus Krangle. It's actually a good match until yeah. Randy Orton shows up and yep. RKO's AJ Styles. So basically, Krangle lost that one. Yeah, for his last match on SmackDown. But he gave he gave Randy Orton the angle slam before he left. Yeah, and then he helps it AJ Styles up. Yeah. So basically, um. And then there was that thing with the Miz. And Shane McMahon. Yeah. Yeah, The Miz. Well, let's see. Shane McMahon had a whole bunch of security guards out on the ramp. And then we he had some other wrestlers, like Shelton Benjamin, one of the Colognes, the members of Insanity. Mm -hmm. And then Shane McMahon's going, you know something, what I regret about that night? And he had a picture of him holding up uh, The Miz's dad. He goes... I didn't beat the crap out of your father for making a mistake by impregnating your mama. And then the Miz got all mad. He ripped off his his uh he he ripped off his jacket and he started beating up the security guards. And he started beating up all the other superstars. And then Shelton Benjamin yeah. got a guy's hands on him. And then he's beating them up in front of the fans out in the back. Definitely building that match for WrestleMania. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Miz or Shane? Who do you think? So? Miz. Miz. Yeah. Cause he's awesome. I'm the Miz, and I'm 
awesome. Yeah, now you're starting to like him because now he's well, not. Well, I liked such him a... before, but yeah. then I didn't like him because he was just eh. Because now he's not such a douche anymore. He doesn't and... have that Hollywood stick up his ass. And now it's the gauntlet match, which counts as our main event. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five teams that yeah. the New Day had to fight. Mm -hmm. The first team was the club. Which New Day beat. Obviously. Oh, yeah. And then the next team was Nakamura and Rusev. Gunman! Which they beat really? them. Gunman! Oh, yeah. Then there's the bar. Yep. Which the bar was sore losers because after they yeah. lost, they. Let's see. They started beating up Xavier Woods. They beat up. Biggie, they put Biggie through the table, and then let's see the Usos come up. But here's the thing: when the Usos showed up, they said they had mad respects for the New Day mm -hmm. and Kofi. Everybody, they, everyone in the backstage has given them respect. Everybody in the WWE universe has their respect. So the Usos said this: they forfeit their uh, their match. Yeah. So basically, New Day wins by default. Mm -hmm. But however. They had to face one more team. Yeah, because Dan and Brian's old tagging objects in the back of old pissy fit. Yep. He kicked the he kicked the flat screen TV. He's trying to flip tables. He's kicking chairs. Almost hits Eric Rowan in the head with a chair. Yeah. This is bull crap. Ah! Yeah, it was crazy. Captain Plan is upset. Yeah. But um, the final team that they had to try to beat was Captain Planet. Captain Planet. He's our hero. <laughs> Daniel Bryan's acting like a zero. <laughs> <laughs> someone better... Uh, so no. Someone out there who's uh, who's good at doing art somewhere has to do a do has to do has to do Daniel Bryan's Captain Planet. We know Don Cheadle has done it for the uh, has done some of those funny videos for um, college humor. So we gotta have Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan should actually play him in a live action movie because he actually acts like it. Yep. But, um, yeah. New and Day it, actually beat him! Well, let's see. But a count out. Mm -hmm. But it was actually a really good count out because, um, they, uh, uh, Daniel Bryan and Rowan just comes in there and they start attacking both Xavier Woods and Big E. Then they get, they start. Thrashing and fighting out into the, like the uh, outside the ring. Yeah. Eric Rowan's gonna plant Big E through the table, but he reversed it, and then he get Eric Rowan gets hit by by the um, ring posts. Then Big E just tosses him over the table, and he throws the he ro he actually buries the table on him, and they won via count out. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty much crazy. So yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. Kofi didn't get screwed. No. He won. Fair yep. square. He came out celebrating with the New Day. The I whole locker him. room showed up. Yep. Nikki, Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross was showed all, up. I was all happy and cheering for him and yep. whatnot. Kofi deserved it. And then, of course, the little, like, two minutes left, the interview lady went to Vince McMahon and said, okay. Yeah, he's, he's going to WrestleMania, but... Can I be can I be plus super can I be superstar beat Danny Ryan at WrestleMania? Yeah. Who knows? Limit driver. Champagne. So. Champagne and hookers. So uh yeah that that, that was that was SmackDown. Mm -hmm. What did you thought about it? I mean, that was good. Yeah, I liked the Gauntlet match. We thought he was gonna get screwed, but no. There you go. They lost. They got rid of that. Anything happened. Also, they're leaving AJ Styles and Randy Orton as well. Yeah. Well, don't we all, don't we want an AJ versus Randy? Yeah. Or did that add, Phenomenal did that... RKO. <laughs> well, that would be a funny team. They kick each other's asses at WrestleMania and then they end up joining the team. But then again, Superstar Shakeup happens right after the WrestleMania, so we don't know who's going where. So, we don't know if Sasha Banks and Bailey are going to be tag teams because they could be like, okay, you're going to split the Boss Cub connection. We got to put it in a new direction. Bailey, you're going to be tag team with Dana Brooke. I heard Dana Brooke might be leaving. 
Oh, then they, oh, then they screwed. So. You know what's gonna happen? She's gonna tag team with Izzy. Oh. But, let us know what you thought of SmackDown this week. Did you love it? Hate it? I thought it was so. better than Raw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But nothing's gonna be better than NXT. Obviously, but that's tomorrow. Yeah. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Hello! Hey. And now it's 2 0 5 live. Yeah! <laughs> so, wait! Yeah, it was, um, it was another great 2 0 5 live. I mean, um, the first match of the night was, um, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha House Party. Of course. Versus Jack Gallagher. <coughs> <coughs> She's kind of getting disgusted. It is. Drew Gulak. Yeah. And Humberto Carrillo, a.k.a. Taylor Lofner. He looks like him. He just must And him. he is dumb. Yep, yeah, she thinks he's dumb because he shouldn't be with him. No, just... they're using him. Because, like, in the whole thing, at first they weren't tagging him in, and then finally they tagged him in. And then, like, at the end it was, um... Kalisto and because it was all bodies, they ended up being mm -hmm. bodies all over. Because, um, they were gonna do a um, power slam with Humberto and all Humberto and Drew. I don't know if Jack Athler was in that corner. They're gonna do like a top rope power bomb slam thing to uh Kalisto, but um, I think it was Los Dorado, right? Or Grand Mentalique. Grand Ma Mentalique. Remember he climbed on top? Yeah, he cl that's who I was thinking. Grand Mentalique standing on top and boof, boof. Everyone, wow. That's how everybody went all over. Bodies everywhere. But end up, um, at the end, end up being Kalisto winning with a Selena Del Sol to Humberto. Because Humberto was literally arguing with Jugular because... Humberto was going to do his top rope move on Kalisto, but he's like, no, no, you don't go up there. Open your ears. Listen. Listen. Don't do that. Listen to what you got to do. You listen. Mm -hmm. So, and then he, um, Kalisto pulled him and then did a Selena Del Sol off the rope and went, poof. Yep. So, yeah, so he's just, I wonder if he's going to continue listening to Galher and Gulak. Or what? Or does he just figure real? No, maybe realize now. Maybe after being used, he'll leave. <laughs> I don't find know. Some good guys. But and then there was an interview thing with Mike and Maria. Pretty much saying, and then Drake came along. But Mike and Maria were just pretty much saying that. Whoever doubts Mike. As a superstar, as a hater. And then, they're like, when Drake comes along, goes, Oh, here's a hater Listen right now. Out. And Drake goes, Wait, wait, what? I'm not a hater. He sounds not a hater. <laughs> he goes, You should be actually thanking me. Because I stopped Akira from do punching your face or something. And he's like, Something like In that. In a window, I think. In a window. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty much hard to speak here Japanese. But anyway. Um... He made a match, I think it's for next week, he said. He made it for Mike and Kira versus each other. And if Maria, of course, Maria's in Mike's corner, mm -hmm. Brian Kedrick gets to be in Kira's corner. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That'd probably be another interesting match. Yeah. So. And then he had Buddy Murphy, which says she he's in the... Boyfriend. Uh, what did he say he was in the... Performance center in Orlando. Yeah, and he's saying why he's not there because he don't he doesn't want to hurt Tony knees. And he's talking how he's gonna hurt Tony knees in WrestleMania. A bunch of people are going behind in the background. Yeah, it's she's funny. laughing. It's funny. All you see, he's just talking, rambling about Tony knees, and all you see is a bunch of people going in the background. <laughs> and then also, the last person that's walking in the background stops for a minute. We see it's Tony knees. Then he's saying, listen, Tony Nese, and then all of a sudden he comes in and punches him right in the face, and they're attacking. Yeah. Then the people that were walking behind in the background 
try to split them apart. It was funny. And Tony Nese was like, what did he say? I, I made you come in 205 Live. Yeah. I made you come here. You wouldn't be here without me. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's what, yeah, that's what he said. You wouldn't be here without him because he's the one that brought him here. Yeah. And then, of course, the main event. Of course. Of 205. Oh, yeah. Was Cedric Alexander. Boing. Yeah, boing, boing, <laughs> boing, boing. Even He's though like I a, like him. Feel yeah, like a pop figure. Boing. <laughs> First, Arya Davari. Yep. Of course, before the match started, they're like, really? Why are you coming out, Oni Lorcan? And Oni Lorcan's like, I want to watch the match. So he's sitting on ringside. Uh, didn't he like wear a shirt like on, uh, Oni's the best or Oni something on his shirt? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember what the heck was on his shirt, but it said Oni something. Yeah. Well, um... That match was pretty good. It was going, of course, like it always is. Um, punches and jabs and Cedric getting his eyes popping out because he almost pins him. It was awesome. It was. It was. It was, it was going at. But yeah. of course, um, Arya Davari wins with a via roll via roll up, and he was holding his tights away, but because. Cedric got, was distracted with Oni Lorcan because Oni Lorcan was arguing about it, the jacket or something, saying that Cedric did something, whatever. And that's that's how um, our, uh, Aria Via rolled up him and hurry up and get out of the ring. Yeah. And then after the match, of course, Oni, wh while Cedric's focused on Aria, Attacks him and then also ends up going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then Orny leaves and stares at Cedric when Cedric's in the ring, which is going to lead to a match next week, probably, with those two. Yep. Yeah. Anything can happen. Definitely, Cedric probably will be Oni, maybe. Mm hmm. But, yeah. Well, let's, let's see what happens next week. Yeah, let's see what happens next week on 205 Live. I mean, Anything could happen. It, we, there could be more better matches next week, too. Yeah, you never know. It'll definitely be that Mike Mike and Akira. Yeah. And I'll, Checker, definitely. Probably Tony Nese. Probably something with Sandra Alexander. Mm-hmm. And Oni. So. Mm -hmm. What did you thought of this week or two, if I lied? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I thought it was okay. Yeah. So. I had a couple good parts. But, yeah, other than that. That's it. So, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.